you haven't won all your games, you're never completely happy. Uh, but that doesn't exist uh, anywhere in any sport, really. Um, but the the hole to this point hasn't been, um, um, or has been, pardon me, a, a strong point, I, I believe. We've been able to overcome adversity a couple times, been able to play uh, through a tough schedule, uh, a lot of road time, a lot of miles traveled, and uh, come out with a, a winning record. And uh, we'll take that. Now you can narrow it down to the past three games, and you say, geez, you haven't won in three. And um, that's correct, and, and we're not happy about that. I thought the uh, the Florida game in particular was one where we would bounce back. We'd get a little bit of rest and and battle a little bit harder, compete a little bit harder over um, over the puck and and territorially, and we didn't do it. So uh, tonight's an important night for our group uh, to reestablish um, uh, some traction as a group, and we're looking forward to that. Todd, you signed a couple of players yesterday. Can you maybe just discuss each individually and what? maybe hurdle they need to overcome to be able to be full-time NHLers and what you expect from their stint in the American League? Well, they're 20, year old, 20 years old. Um, one has played a little bit longer in the National League than the other. Both of them earned an opportunity based on their training camp to start with this club. And um, as we all know, the, the league gets a little tougher as uh, games 5 through 10 to 15 uh, evolve. Um, and uh, we saw that they were... Uh, not near as effective as they were throughout exhibition season. Um, and uh, in turn, we want them to both go down there and uh, touch the puck a little bit more, be put in situations where they can offensively uh, feel good about their game, but also defensively. And uh, there's a lot more to, uh, to the game than just point producing uh, as an individual. You have to have a, an effect on, on the game themselves. So um, each is experienced... Uh, at a different level. Jesse's obviously played more National Hockey League games, uh, Yamo fewer, uh, but that's what we're hoping that they can go down and do. You never expect a player to, sorry, you know, to be you know, happy when he gets sent down. Did you speak to either of them and, and what did you get from, from them? Well, they didn't, uh, you know, they're, they're disappointed because they're National Hockey League players and they want to be here. And that is what um, you expect from players. They, uh, they came to camp and they felt and they did earn the opportunity to play here. Uh, but as it goes on, they're now disappointed that they have to go down and put, put time in in the, uh, in the American League. Uh, but that happens to, uh, to a lot of players. Uh, as I said, the game changes. Uh, we all try and put young guys into the lineup and hope that they can continue to do it. Some succeed, some don't. Uh, it doesn't diminish their value uh, in our eyes at all. We think that they're going to be very good NHL players. Just need a little bit more time down there. Your uh, first five games of October and first five games of November, just a slight difference in the record. But do you think, uh, despite being two and three in the first five instead of three and two in, in October, you're playing better hockey than, than you were uh, Sweden and coming back? Um, I felt that when we came back from Sweden, we, uh, our, our curve was going upwards. Um, you know, starting, even starting in Boston, we played a better game. Uh, we went to where the Rangers after that and played a pretty solid game after that. Uh, Winnipeg, you know, we find a way to come back. And, uh, uh, you know, really the first period or period and a half, we were uh, definitely the second best team there. Uh, but I felt like our curve was going up right now. I feel like we're a little flatter and uh, we've got to uh, find ways to, uh, to accelerate uh, some individuals and some lines, some pairs, uh, to get that curve going upward again. Uh, part of it's rest, part of it's coming home and, and getting uh, into our own bed and resting. Uh, but I think we beat that up, or at least I've, I've read that we beat that, that up by now, and we can put that behind us because we're not a tired team tonight. Uh, we're a, a refreshed team. We should be ready to play, but we've got to get back to uh, to our winning ways, and that certainly be the goal tonight. Todd, over the last week or so, you've played against some very productive lines in the league. Uh, tonight, you're playing against a trio that has the most points <coughs> as a threesome in the NHL. Uh, what kind of challenges do they have uh, for your club, despite being 0-4 and one? They're still kind of clicking. Uh, well, that, that McKinnon line is as good a line as there is in the league right now. They're full of confidence. They're veteran players. They complement each other well. Uh, they're playing at a very high level. 
Um, you know, but it just goes to show you got to win or lose as a team. And um, you know, sometimes we're in that situation with Connor and Leon doing a lot of the work. But you win or lose as a team, and our task tonight will be tough. Um, it'll be a shared task amongst a number of different players. Uh, but when you're on the ice against them, you've got to end up on the, the positive side of the ledger. And, and they can quickly uh, turn a game around. They may not be in it, but they can quickly turn it around. And, um, you know, awareness, knowing where you are in the game, where you are in the shift against that line is real important. Todd, I'm not sure if you have a military background in your family, but I just wanted a thought on, on the importance of the day. And, and yeah, you know, I, and I meant to start with that, but uh, it's an important day for all of us and, and our organization, the players, management, staff, everybody recognizes the, um, the sacrifice that our military here in Canada and around the world, um, uh, it allows us an opportunity to live the way we do in a great city like Edmonton uh, with the freedoms that we have and uh, we're very appreciative of that. Um, you know, we realize that we play a game um, for a living. Uh, we're still under scrutiny. We, we, we're in front of you every day, but that's a lot different than being under scrutiny in, uh, in the middle of a battle. And uh, we play it, they work it, and we're appreciative of it.